Do you ever wonder how other social media managers are getting incredibly impressive and fast results for their clients? They may be sharing the how, but it sure feels like they're leaving out a thing or two. Well, you know I ain't about no gatekeeping and today I am dishing the social media manager secrets that no one will tell you. Hey, my name is Mel and I own a multi six figure social media agency and I now help social media managers do the same. If you're an aspiring six-figure social media manager that make sure you grab my free roadmap to becoming a six-figure social media manager in the description below. Now let's dive in. Now the first secret that no social media manager will tell you is that the more you post the more visibility you will actually receive. Now most people will tell you the exact opposite advice. They will tell you that quality is all that matters, pushing out quality content, it doesn't matter what frequency, right? But this is actually not true. Now, I would never advise someone who doesn't do this as a profession, doesn't know what they're doing, to just keep on posting and post a lot of quantity. But someone like you that knows what they're doing, that is a marketer, can push out quantities of content without sacrificing quality. Now, that is the key. So we see this with clients over and over again. The same pattern applies. The more content that went out for them, during a month, the bigger their reach was. Now, reach may not always be the KPI or the goal that you're going after, but just a general rule of thumb, the more content that goes out, the more reach you will get. Now, and this also makes sense when you think about it, if on average you reach 500 people with one post, then you can calculate that, you know, the more you post, the more people you are bound to reach, right? Now, this is for a typical month. Now, this does not apply when your client or yourself has one or two posts that may have gone viral. Now with viral, I mean that they are performing above average. So if one or two posts outperform all the other content, this is not going to apply to this general rule of thumb because it's not a fair comparison, right? Of course, if you go viral or have a viral post, you can probably rely on just that one single post for a good period of time. But generally speaking, this is actually the case. The more content that goes out, the more reach someone will receive. I want to show you another way that you can test this on your account and see what's actually going on. You can head over to following where you can see most shown in my feed. So when I click here, it will tell me the people that are most shown in my feed. Now, the top one that I need to show you is Forbes. I never ever interact with Forbes as an account because it's just a news outlet. I do like to read their stuff, but I do not interact with their content. If we see here, this was posted two hours ago, three hours ago. So as you can see, they post multiple times per hour. This is why they're most shown in my feed. Now, other people that you will find under most shown in my feed would be people that you interact with regularly in the DM or just commenting and reacting and stuff like that. But otherwise, it really has to do with quantity. So take that into account that you cannot rely on getting someone results uh, twice a week. And of course it can vary per platform, but a platform like Instagram and other platforms that are more saturated, you need quantity to get a certain result, especially if you're building someone from scratch. Now, if you're still looking for your first client or looking to build your book of business and check out my video where I will share how you go from zero to booked out as a social media manager. The second secret that no social media manager will tell you is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. In fact, you shouldn't. You never want to completely reinvent an idea or content piece completely from scratch because you need to blend in before you can stand out. Now, what do I mean by that is I want you to look at top performing content in your industry, in your client's industry and see what's already working. There will be proven concepts out there that show you this is the type of content people interact with. This is the type of content people engage with. So you don't have to do the thinking from scratch, right? See what already works and see how you can apply this concept or this idea to your clients. Now, by no means I want you to copy or plagiarize other accounts that you absolutely do not want to do, but you can take their idea and make it your own. Whether it's a concept they have or a certain outline, post format, whatever it may 
could be you can apply it to your own topics and replicate the proven concept in that sense, right? So never think that you have to reinvent something completely from scratch that no one has ever done because it's very likely that it has already been done. So you might as well save yourself some time and do your research in the strategy phase. Now, if you want to know exactly how I create a strategy for my clients, I have a complete walkthrough and an example of my exact strategy in this video right here. The third social media manager secret that no one will tell you is that you don't need to have an advanced skill set to get excellent results. You just need to know how. Now, a lot of beginner social media managers think that you need to be advanced in video editing, in graphic design, in every single area of social media. And this is absolutely not the case. You want to be able to be bougie on a budget, I like to say. So for example, when it comes to graphic design, if that is not your strong suit, this is something you can either outsource, also head over to Creative Market and purchase customized template for each client you bring on. This way you have perfectly well-designed templates for your clients at a low cost and you didn't have to do the work, especially if it's something that you feel like is not your strongest skill. Now the same goes for video editing, right? This can be a tough skill, especially if you're starting out, but there are many, many tools out there that make it extremely easy to deliver excellent video for social media for your clients, such as CapCut, really easy to use, but even templates inside of Instagram that is obviously completely free to use. Those are two of the most common tools I would recommend. And I can even give you an example here inside of Instagram, especially since you already have Instagram, this is free uh, CapCut. I believe there is a fee, especially if you're using Pro. And there are other tools I can recommend, but they do come at a fee. So if we are looking here at Instagram, you can see at the top of your reels that you can click on template. Now you now see different sounds with different templates that you can instantly apply. So there's even trending audio here that you can simply fill in. You will just add the photos in here with true add media where you can add different slides and it will actually edit it for you on the beat. So obviously this makes it really easy for you to be on trend, have video edited perfectly. And there are so many more examples like this that you can use. So again, you do not need to be advanced in every single area. You just need to know how. Now, if you want to see a video where I have social media management tools that I recommend, then check out this video right here and let me know what you think. Now, the fourth and final secret that no social media manager will tell you is that the most impressive results are calculated in percentages. In marketing, this is super, super common, but let's say you have your first client, your second client, and you may have gotten them from, you know, zero to a hundred followers, right? Or you, you got them from a hundred to 200 followers. It may not seem like a whole lot, but in terms of percentages, that is a hundred percent. You doubled their follower count. And so we do that with almost everything in marketing. Of course, you see that on Instagram itself as well, where it calculates percentages. So this can often feel like, whoa, I had a huge decline in reach, a huge decline in followers, but that is because it's calculated in percentages. So remember that if you are creating case studies, you are showcasing results to clients. And let's say they made one sale in January, they made two sales in February, then you have now increased their sales by a hundred percent. Okay. So this is important to take into account so that you can showcase the real impact you are making. Now, if you stayed all the way till the end and you found this helpful, make sure you like subscribe and comment on this video below, then I will see you in next week's video.